a less expensive alternative to the free ride? Stick around because today I will be talking about a an alternative that just might do the trick. Welcome back to Writer Gadgets and Workflow. I'm author K.L. Brady, and I am so excited to be back on the channel today. Very exciting. It's a very rainy, you know, dreary day in the D.C., uh, Maryland, and Virginia area, but today is sunny because I get to be online with you guys. I know that was so corny, but it's true. I feel I'm happy. I'm excited. So I'm sorry it's been so long. It's um, taken me a, a long time to get this next um, episode in, but I've had a few issues at play. Before I get to those issues, though, and I'm just going to hit them very quickly before I get into the gadgets and the fun stuff. So, But um, I want to thank everybody who has been watching and subscribing. I hit 500 subscribers um, yesterday or the day before. Which, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I, like, never thought that would happen. I would never thought that 500 people, even 500 people, like 50 people even, <laughs> were going to actually subscribe to this channel. Um, I started really with the honest and sincere um, desire to, as a writer, and as as a relatively prolific writer that that's kind of had hybrid success right I've been in the traditional world and I've been in the um, self-publishing world right and but I really just wanted to talk about gadgets because like I am such a gadget purchaser and I know in my past I have not had the budget to like experiment on all these different gadgets and figure out which one is worth the money, right? Um, fortunately for you guys, I am in a complete addict. I bought a bunch of gadgets. And then, so really, when I created this, um, you know, this um, a pandemic-inspired channel to really just talk about gadgets and see if I can help people, like, make good decisions about the stuff that you spend your money on and how you invest it and how you can use these gadgets really from a writer's perspective and in your workflow. Um, so I did it with that with no expectation whatsoever. So to have like 500 people subscribe to the channel, I know there are people who have millions of people subscribe to their channels. Okay. I do not mistake the fact that, but it's, 500 of the best subscri subscribers that I could ever hope for because I didn't expect 50. <laughs> so when you don't expect 50 and you get 500, it's like big news, right? So I just wanted to say thank you first, first and foremost. Okay, I'm very excited um, about being back today. So my reasons for not being on the channel, one, I have a crazy job, Okay. I have a crazy job. Did I mention that I have a crazy job? Like I have a crazy job and I work with crazy people and I work with a lot of crazy people, some of which I just dealt with yesterday that almost took the stuffing out of me. But you know what? It's like you can't take the stuffing out of me. So I am going to keep going and going and, you know, getting to do this helps me divert attention from all that crap and to really focus on what's important. What's important is the writing life and writing gadgets. That's what's really important in life. It should be important for everybody. It's important for me. So what I will say is work has been insane. The other thing is that I hadn't really bought like any gadgets recently. Like I have a lot of gadgets and I could rehash um, content on those gadgets or I could kind of expand on content, which I probably should do. But honestly, um, I've, I've been using like the same gadget 
almost continuously for the last few months. And I've already really done a kind of in-depth view of it, which is the free write, which I will hold up here, which is the free write. I'd really been focused on using this so much. I even went on a writer retreat this summer. And this is what I took. I took this, I took my iPad, and I took my MacBook only for like, you know, so I could have TV and movies, <laughs> you know, during our off hours. But during the writing hours, anybody at the retreat will tell you this is what I used. It was, and the retreat was awesome. Um, you know, if I get the energy, I, I'll put a clip of the, the retreat and where we went in this video later on, like at the end. But, um, but it was, it was fantastic. So let me tell you something. This free write continues to be my number one, um, tool. However, with that said, I, I'm doing the show today because I want to show you an alternative to the free write. I have found an alternative to the free write that is about half the price. You heard me correctly. So I think it's not going to be exact. Okay. And I didn't say it's a replacement for a substitute for. I said it is an alternative to. But it's certainly something worth considering if you have a tight budget. Okay. And so that's what I really want to talk about um, today. But I am going to hit a few things today. Okay. I'm going to hit a few things today, but I'm really going to spend most of my time on that. Um, so first I want to tell you about the, um, an update, quick update for the, uh, iPad pro M two, not the M one. I, uh, I demoed the M one and the writer features on the channel. And I just want to update my experience with the M1 and why I now have the M2 and the M1 I sent back to Apple. <laughs> I felt like I needed to explain what's going on there just in case people are in the shopping for um, iPads and you want to know my experience with that. Okay. So I, I'm going to tell you about that. My experience with the M1. I had a comment the other day on the, um, on the free write. Someone just made a purchase of a new um, free write and had a couple of questions. So I'm going to answer those questions today. And then I'm going to talk about the new tool. What is the new tool? It is called the Quamsy. K-W-U-M-S-Y. Quamsy. M-S-Z-Y. M-S-Y. I don't know. Something like that. It's close enough. I'll show you the paperwork and all that stuff. I have it right here. Now, let me tell you, I had done this whole box opening, this whole thing. I had it, and then I never hit record. <laughs> Honestly, it's been that kind of week. It's been that kind of like three months. <laughs> and I forgot to hit the record button. So I went through this whole box opening looking dead at the screen and never hit the record button, but it was for good. I, I truly believe that was a good thing that happened because what I discovered is that there were some functionality issues that I needed to work out before I did the, the, you know, kind of opening demo thing. So good, great. You won't get to see the box, box opening, but you will get to understand some things about this tool, what works, what doesn't work, and good reasons to buy it and why it may be, like I said, not a replacement or a substitute for the free ride, but an alternative if you don't want to kick out $649 for the version, um, unless you can catch it on sale when it's $549. But a lot of people don't even want to spend $549. People don't want to spend $499 for the free ride traveler, right? <laughs> So this is half the price, literally half the price, and can give you a lot of the same functionality. So, so the first thing I want to talk to is um, the iPad Pro M2. Okay, so I bought the iPad uh, M1, and I have to tell you guys, right, it was so glitchy. It was glitchy to the point 
of you know how much I love Apple products, right? Like I love Apple products. They can almost do no wrong. But that M1 uh, thing was as glitchy as I've ever had from an Apple product. I've never had an Apple product be so glitchy as that one was, okay? I never dropped it, never broke it. Um, I always kept it in a Zulu case. I don't even have the Zulu case with me, but I always kept it in the Zulu case, um, which is a really good case. Um, from the minute I got it, I literally took it out of the box and put it in the Zulu case. So, I mean, it, it wasn't a user issue. It was really a, uh, it was use it was a device issue. Okay. So, um, what would happen is that it would freeze. Um, like after I'd use it for a while and get good and warm, I'd be typing on it using my magic keyboard, the Apple magic keyboard, like not a, a knockoff. Like I, it's all Apple products and it should all work beautifully. But I, so I'd be using my Apple keyboard and, um, it would, it would freeze or I would get what they call them. When I looked it up, they call them ghost clicks right where the the screen would just start moving things would just start getting clicked and my hands not even on I'm sitting there like this <laughs> my hands not on it and it's like doing all this stuff and I'm like oh no so really the only things that I would use that M1 um iPad for was for YouTube videos checking social media sending the occasional tweet like it was completely useless to me um, so I, I can't even tell you how happy I was when the M2 came out and I was like, you know what, this sucker's going back and I'll go ahead and get the M2 <laughs> and pray that the M2 works. And let me tell you, I, now, so this is the, um, the iPad M2. And what I can tell you about this is it is glorious. The M2 is glorious. All the glitchiness gone. This thing is so zippy, it is unfreaking real. Like if you want something that goes whoosh, 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 and like you touch it and it immediately responds, um, never had problems typing on it. As you can see, I keep this one in the Magic Keyboard now. N normally I keep it in the Zulu case, the Zugu case, but I keep it in this because I type on it all the time now because before I couldn't type on it and now I can. I'm so happy. I am so thrilled i'm so glad i got rid of that so what i would tell you guys is um if you have an m1 pro and it's working for you um you know maybe you got one of the good good ones out of the good batch great um if you have an older version and it's working for you keep it that's great right i have an older version right so the one i use for work is like i want to say the generation three Maybe the generation three. I'm not sure if this is generation six. I skipped a generation, right? So I got the M1. The one previous to the M1 is the one that works great. I've never had a problem with it. And I use it for work because I have to have work stuff on that. Um, and then when I travel and I have access to my email and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I use that for. And my company loads stuff on it and restricts access. You know how that goes. So I, I don't, I just use it for work. I don't use it for anything else. Um, so, but I needed one for personal stuff. Right. And, um, so I got rid of the M1, but I will say the one I had before that great, the M1 sucked sorry that's my experience but the m2 oh my goodness what a difference and it could be the reason why i i love it so is because i had such a horrible experience <laughs> with the m1 and i got the m2 that works as it should work <laughs> and i'm like oh this is the most wonderful thing and so maybe i'm exaggerating like but i don't know i don't feel like i am because i do feel like this is a great product I do feel like it is as fast as anything that I have right now, apart from my iMac mini. This is like as fast as anything I have right now in terms of um, being very super responsive when I'm trying to do stuff. I can multitask, I can do all kinds of things and it's super responsive, super zippy. I can feel the difference in this. It's like they worked out the glitches of the M1 and the M2 is fantastic.
I don't know when the M2 IMAX are coming out or whatever, but I feel like maybe my um maybe my my 27 inch um iMac might get traded in for the M2 at, at some point. Um because I am super happy with the performance of the M2. So I will say that. That's my iPad update for uh right now, which is <laughs> if you're having problems with the M1, get rid of it. Trade it in. <laughs> Get yourself the M2, you'll love it, or even go back a version, um, and that one works fine. It works wonderful too. It is not as zippy as the M2, but it works great. There's no glitchiness. But if you're experiencing glitchiness like I did, kick that sucker to the curb. It's time to go. Let it go. Let it go. You know, <laughs> my coworkers have been telling me this for the last week, Carla. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You know, I'm over assigned. Let the assignments go. Don't let yourself get so, you know, I'm in that let it go phase. So, yeah, if you're having a problem with your tech, let it go. Don't let yourself be frustrated with it. Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about is the free write, right? So you guys know the free write is and continues to be my favorite writing tool, period. Um, I received a comment yesterday that I wanted to address here because... I'm going to talk about the new tool in a minute, but I wanted to address the free write question first because I do adore the free write, okay? So uh, the first question, and I'm going to try and post the, hopefully <laughs> the comment is showing somewhere at this point in the video. I am going to add it in. We'll, we'll try and see if I can get it added in. Okay, so the first part of the question is, I'm eager to know when and where you create with it. Okay, so my free write, when do I create with it? What I will tell you is um, most of the time when I create with it, first of all, it's daylight or, you know, most of the time it's daylight. Um, I either try to get some work in before I go to work and then sometimes after work, okay? Um, where do I create? I normally create, um, I have a desk in my, uh, over the bed desk in my bedroom that I use um, and that I put this on and that I type, type away and that's the most comfortable thing. Hopefully you'll see a picture of that here. I'm trying to add pictures in. Um, and then I also have a spot out on my deck that I absolutely love. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm about to have to pack up my deck. I think tomorrow I'll have to pack it up because, you know, it's the winter and, and you don't get to spend a lot of time out there. So I'll be packed up for a few months until like March. But that's my, my second favorite spot. So between those two spots, those are the main spots that I use it. But what I will say is, um, before the pandemic, I used to go to the coffee shops all the time, and I, I just don't right now. Like, I always say that for me personally, like, I don't want to put my fit, my, my dad's 80. Like, I don't want to put my dad, who I visit with all the time, I don't want to put him at risk. So, you know, and my child, I don't want to put him at risk. So I try to do, you know, I try to stay safe. Plus, I'm the main breadwinner in the house and in the family. So if something happens to me and I go down, then you know we, we lose income. So, so for for the sake of my family, I try to stay safe. So I don't go out, you know, like I used to go out. But you could literally take this anywhere. It has the handle on there, um, and I am vaccinated, but I still fully, and I've got boosted and all that crap. But I still don't go out. Um, so just in case anybody was thinking, well, I'll just get vaccinated and go out. No, I am, and I still don't. <laughs> So anyway, you have the handle and you could take it anywhere. The lighting is perfect. What I will say, and you know, I'll talk about it a little bit when you see the new tool, but what I will say, it, the, one of the issues is that um, while you have the backlighting on the screen, um, it doesn't have the backlighting in the keyboard. So I am a night writer sometimes, like sometimes I write in the evenings and it's fine, but if I'm up at three or four, 
four o'clock in the morning. Like, I don't want to turn on every light in my bedroom to be able to see the keyboard, <laughs> right? I want to be able to pull the thing up and I want to be able to type without, you know, without having to turn on the lights on in the room. Because if I want to go back to sleep, I probably won't because the light will overstimulate me. So that's kind of been one of the only times when I really feel like, um, you know, the, the free write isn't quite everything I need. But in terms of being the tool that I use when I'm creating, right? Like nothing beats this. Nothing beats this in terms of me being able to sit down and be creative, okay? So, but you can use it anywhere. You could take it with you anywhere. Again, grab the handle. That's what's really nice about this. It's wireless. Um, you can take it anywhere. And uh, if you're out and away from a Wi-Fi, you, it'll store it on board. It'll store what you write on board, save it automatically, store it on board, and it'll automatically upload to the cloud once you get back to a Wi-Fi. I mean, in terms of losing work or, you know, the safety of your work and the fear of losing it and all that kind of stuff. Like you can't, you can't really beat this. It's a really fantastic um, product. But like I said, I understand that it is pricey. <laughs> so, um, um, so another thing, so I write my books on here. Um, I think, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how many books I've written. I think I'm somewhere around 18 or 19, but you know, I, I don't know the exact number. Um, I know I have two in progress right now, two Christmas books. So what you will find on here is that there's three folders. I use two for books, um, you know, writing books and stuff. But I use one folder as my purge folder. The purge folder is this. So when I've had a long day with my crazy people at work and they've driven me insane and I feel like I don't have a creative bone in my body at that point because they've kind of sucked it out of me, um, what I do is I go to my purge folder and I kind of just write like a journal, treat it like a journal, and just write all the painful things that have happened to me throughout the day that have driven me crazy that suck the creativity out of me. And then I just get it out of my system and once I purged, then I'm good. I'm ready for creating. And then I could just flip it over to another one. So I use it to write, but I also use it to purge. So I would highly recommend saving yourself a purge folder so that you can, especially if, you, if you're if you not a full-time writer and you have to work a nine to five with crazy people like I do, um, you know, use that to purge, get all that stuff out of your system and then get your writing done. Okay. So that is, you know, what I really use this for writing my books. Sometimes like outlining, I'll do my initial outline here, then I'll move it into another document and kind of write chapter by chapter here. Um, and then I usually keep my outline somewhere in my iPad. That way I can type on this and have my outline nearby so I can kind of glance at it if I need something to remind me of what direction I'm going in. So, so that is how I use it. I hope that that information was helpful. Now, the other piece that he asked me about was, um, have I thought about comparing text to type? Um, and I'm guessing with the free write, right? With, with the experience of using the free write. And so I haven't thought about that, and here's why. I, mean, I probably could do it, but I'm not sure how useful the the, v, the episode would be, and this is the reason why. Um, because to me, dictating and using the free write are very different processes. Like for me, it's like using different parts of my brain. That may not be actually true, but it feels like it, right? It feels like a very different thing for me. Um, so for me, with the free write, um, you know, when I dictate, and dictating is good sometimes when you're, when your thoughts are coming super fast and you are having a tough time to keep up with um, your thoughts. And so you can dictate to stay, keep up with your thoughts. 
these days, these thoughts aren't coming super fast. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm having to drag, literally drag these thoughts out of my head and get them onto something so I can create. So for me, I find that the free write is actually better when your thoughts are slow and you can kind of type in and get a rhythm going and that as you get that rhythm going, then more thoughts come and you can get it down and more thoughts come and you can get it down. But, you know, years ago, you know, I was a much faster writer. I could dictate a chapter in an hour or less than an hour, 20 minutes maybe, dictate an entire chapter dialogue, action, scenery, the whole thing. And I could write a book in six weeks, like a full length novel, 50,000 words plus in six weeks, easily. It doesn't come that easy to me now, honestly. Part of it is just the stresses of work and having to like get that out of my head before I can actually write. But also, you know, I'm getting older and it just, you know, it's just one of those things probably that happens, especially when you're a woman and you've got the hormonal stuff going on. I'm just saying, men, you can just turn that off. But anyway, so I'm just saying happens, happens to all of us. Um, so anyway, um, so that's kind of why I, I haven't really thought of doing a show like that because I'm not sure how I would demo it. Because here's what would happen. I would dictate something, but I would write it ahead of time and dictate it. So I'm really not dictating it. <laughs> and then if I was writing it, <laughs> like I would have it planned because I want to make sure I have something on this. I wouldn't want to do like a 30 minute video and only have one sentence. Like, so, um, so for me, I'm just not sure how much, how, how much help, how helpful I could be with that. One thing I would really love to do, I don't know, we get a group of writers together and kind of do a Zoom where we do like a co-writing thing. Like, I would love to do something like that. So if you're interested in something that like that, let me know. But apart from that, you know, I'm not sure how helpful <laughs> that that kind of thing would be coming from me right now. Um, okay, so that's that. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, comments, concerns, or anything about anything that I just talked about, let me know. Right now, I'm going to get to the new tool. The new tool. Okay, so I'm so excited. All right, I know this is a long video. I'm sorry, guys, you know, because it, it might be a while before you see me again. <laughs> let me get it all out now, and, and you'll have the video, and you don't have to watch it all at once. If you, you want to take a couple days to watch it, that's fine. Um. Okay, so... The new tool, I'm so excited about it. Okay, so listen, I have been stalking this tool for at least a couple of months now, right? And every time I look at it, the price wasn't right. The price wasn't where it needed to be where I would just go, yes, you know? So, um, but I, I really wanted it, but I wanted it probably for the wrong reasons. I wanted it because it was a toy and I didn't have it. <laughs> But it wasn't necessarily a need because Lord knows I've got all the like writing gadgets I need for a lifetime. Okay. I never need to buy another writing gadget again in life. Honestly, I do know this guys. I do know I have a ridiculous number of writing gadgets. Okay. But anyway, but I really wanted it. And I wasn't sure about the functionality because they give you all these warnings in the, the product. If you have Mac, if you have Apple, um, this may not work beautifully. You know, it may not work perfectly. You may have limited functionality with it. And I thought, well, I've got all Mac and Apple products for my home stuff. So maybe I don't want to go here. But then I saw this comment, right? I got a comment from somebody on one of the Alpha Smart videos that I did. And, um, and her comment was, I can't remember the person's name, but I'm going to try and run it. Um, here so that you can see it, but it was Alpha Smarts go for a hundred dollars on eBay. I am so stuck. I want the free ride traveler, but that's four hundred sixty-seven dollars, and now I think that's four ninety-nine because I just looked at it the other day. Because you know there was a sale for Black Friday, and then and so normally like when that went on sale, it was like three sixty-nine, but the sale was from four ninety-nine to four. 49. 
Like to me, <laughs> it was like, if I was on the fence, that would not pull me off the fence, right? I need a hundred dollar, I need a hundred dollar discount <laughs> for it to really pull me off the fence, right? So anyway, just saying. <laughs> so I saw this and I saw that and I was like, you know what? I think it's now time for me to get this tool because um, this tool I felt like could solve some problems for other people and plus I wanted it and and there is there's actually a very useful feature of it for me um, that I just talked about with that was lacking with the free write that it gives me that the free write doesn't and so at certain times it's even more helpful than I actually thought it would be so let me talk about this a little bit it is called this is called the Quamzy K2 12.6 um, inch touchscreen monitor, right? With a mechanical keyboard. You hear that? The clickiness? It's got Gatoron blue keys in it. So it's, it's good and clicky. Not the most high quality keys that I, you know, I have bought some expensive keyboards, right? Certainly not the most not the most high quality keyboard that I've ever had, right? But definitely a good one and a workable one. And I actually enjoy typing on this a lot, okay? But don't say, well, Carla said this is super high. No, this, the keys themselves, they can be swapped out. They're not super high quality, okay? Now, here's the funny thing, right? I've been seeing this uh, product on YouTube other techies, other tech, um, you know, uh, techies have purchased the product and have said, this is a great tool. It's neat. I don't know what you would use it for. And I'm like, this, this is the thing. It's a writer gadget. It's not, a t it's not necessarily for techies. It's for writers. Honestly, I feel like this is true. That's why the techies don't get it. A techie wouldn't get this because it's for writers, okay? So for me, it's a writer's tool. It's for anyone, but it's really for writers, okay? So one of the cool things about this tool is that you can get it for half the price of a free write. You heard me correctly. Now, this version of the free write is... $649. This was the K2 is 330 and the K1 is 299 if you catch the sale that they have going on right now. So you would really have to like decide really quickly if you wanted to buy this. And then they come with coupons. So when they're regularly priced, they come with coupons, like $30 coupons that you can clip on Amazon. So you got to buy it off Amazon. I didn't say that before. But Amazon gives you, you know, one of those green flags with the $30 coupon. You click that, you get $30 off. So these are normally like $389. With the $30 coupon would make it $359. But I actually got this during a Black Friday sale for $330 was one of the things that pushed me over the edge and made me get it. And if you want the version before this one, which is, uh, this is a K2. If you want the K1, it is $299 the last time I looked at it. Now the prices may have gone up since I last looked at it, but the last time I looked at it was $299. Significantly cheaper than this. Now you will notice some similarities. Um, you know, you get the onboard keyboard, you get the screen. This is actually a touch screen. The Quamzy comes with a touch screen, right? Now I will tell you that the touch screen has more functionality on PC. So if you have a Windows PC, it has more functionality on that than it does on um, on Mac, on the Mac OS. But what I will say is that may not be a bad thing. It may not be a bad thing. 
So um, shortly, I will show you a demo of how this looks and the uses for it from the Mac OS perspective. And that what you can do is basically say, whatever the Mac does, whatever it does on the Mac, it does even more on the PC, okay? But in terms of serving as an alternative to a free write, you don't want it to have a lot of function. However, <laughs> in, in terms of wanting, because a lot of people don't want to get the free write because it only does one thing. Well, why am I going to get that? It only does one thing. It only, you can only write on it. This has multiple functions. And so if you're saying, I want to spend the, invest the money, but I want more functionality out of the product, then this may also be an option for you because it has more functions than the free write. Okay, so let me just show you a couple of things um, and tell you a little bit more about this. Okay, um, so I got to put this down. So here is the box that it comes in. It's the Quamzy Multifunctional Touch Keyboard. Okay, and as you can see up here, it says uh, K2. Okay, so I wanted you to see the box that came in because like I said, I did this beautiful unboxing and then <laughs> forgot to hit the record button. Um, but on the back, it shows you kind of all the functions and then all the stuff you get in the box, which is right here. You get all the stuff in the box, which is the tool, the USB-C, the other USB cords that you need, the HDMI, if you have to hook, if that's the way you have to get a video from your computer. For me, I use the USB-C with video. So it has to have the 4K video capability. But if you get the USB-C with the 4K capability, that's all you need. You don't need um, all these other tools. This is a key puller, like I said, not a super high quality keys, but if you wanna get more high quality keys, you can replace these. I read in a comment somewhere that they take three or five point um, mechanical keys. So if you want to get more expensive, if you want to get the MX Blue versus the Gatoron Blue, which the MX Blue are more pricey, but they're also a higher quality, um, then you can just pluck them off with the with the key puller. I have that right here. Um, so I'll show you this stuff too. Um, so here's the key puller. Here is... You know, here's that cord with all the USB and the HDMI, right? Here is the user manual. You know how funny I am about um, packaging and stuff, but it really did come in some nice packaging. You see, this is a pretty nice box. It comes with also a wrist rest and um, it comes with the wrist rest and it comes with a carrying bag as well. 